do you need to have a degree to be a probation officer? In tonight's video, I'm gonna be able to answer that question for you. Did I have a degree? Yes, my degree was in psychology and criminology. Does this mean that you also need a degree? No. According to their trainee scheme eligibility requirements, you need a level five qualification. A level five is the equivalent to an NVQ level five, level five diploma, level five award, level five certificate. You can see all of them here. So for your reference, a level five diploma also includes a foundation degree. So a BA, so a university degree is level six. So in answer to your question, no, you don't need a degree to apply for the training. Why is this? Well, before you used to have to have a degree and it, the eligibility requirements were that you used to have to have at least a major in criminology. So with me, I've done criminology and psychology. Why is that? Well, before it used to be a requirement that you had to have a degree and that the majority of the degree, degree had to be criminology. So mine was psychology and criminology. This meant that loads of people couldn't apply. So people that done straight psychology or done criminology as a minor instead of a major were not able to apply. They've now changed that to get more people in, to get more, a more diverse range of people. So you do not have to have a degree. It does not have to be psychology and criminology. So even if you've got a degree in whatever, art, marketing, business, you can apply. What happens when you actually get the job is that there's two routes. So if like me, you have got a psychology, you have got a criminology as a part of your degree, you'll be on the shorter route because you've already done the criminology modules that are needed to get you on the job. So the shorter route I think is about 15 months. If you haven't, then you do the longer route, which is only 21 months, so it is still quite short, and you will just get those um, modules that you wouldn't have had before, and you do that as a part of your training. So it's really not that much of a big difference. And it's all paid for, so you don't need to pay for it. Probation is part of the training, so you don't actually have to pay to do those modules. Are there other routes in? Yes. At the moment, they're not offering apprenticeships for this role, but do keep your eyes peeled because I would be thinking they are putting them in place soon because I know they have them in other areas of like the prison and probation service, so like admin and I think prison officers, they have apprenticeships. But there are other ways in. So if you want to be a probation service officer, this is very similar, like I've mentioned before, to a probation officer, but you are not technically qualified, you are um, having a different caseload, so you will not supervise the high risk offenders, you will not be doing parole reports, court reports, so there's a little variation in the job, but you can do that without having a degree, without having any prior um, criminology knowledge or psychology knowledge. So that is a really good entry point into the job. You just have to have some experience working with offenders. And then from there, when you have got the PSO job, you can then apply for the probation officer job when it comes up and you've kind of already been doing the job. So it is a really good route in. Join me in the next video where I'll be sharing even more tips for how to get on the probation officer trainee program and just general tips about what it is like being a probation officer.